Hello, my friends. How you doing today? I am doing well, and I got I got some pickups. I got some stuff that came in the mail, and if I don't if I don't open it in front of you, it just doesn't exist because that's what this channel is about. It's about it's about friendship. It's about it's about talking. It's about it's about movies and memories and and every movie has a memory. Okay, every every movie that I purchase has some kind of memory to it. And it's it's funny because me, me and the kids were talking. I was talking to one of, one of my my kids the other day, and they were like, "Yeah, it's, it's." They were surprised that they could point out a movie in my collection, and I can give them a memory for almost every movie. Okay, I will tell you, there's a few that I just bought because it's part of like a franchise or part of something, whatever, and it doesn't really have a memory to it except for the original. But most of them have some kind of memory. So let's 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 see what memories we have today. I'm I'm getting right to it. I'm gonna get right to it. Uh. And let me let me make it clear. Uh, these are purchased by me. I I, I do have uh, all the stuff in the description below. For for if anybody ever wants to send me something, you want listen. If you ever feel the need to send me something, there's a way. Okay, you, you contact me in the comments below, and I'll find you I'll find a way for you to get it to me somehow. Okay, and and and, I, and, I'll, and I'll appreciate it. I'll appreciate it. I'll open it up on this channel, and I and I'll, I'll showcase it, and I'll explain the whole story about how it happened. You know, because usually. That starts a memory too, because because you guys are gonna contact me and you're gonna tell me something, and then then we got we got a story going. So anyway, um, this is from Jesse Jesse Esdell from uh, Ravenue, Ohio. Ravenue, 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 that's all, folks. Uh, R A V E N N A, Ravenue, Ravenue, Rev, and whatever. Sounds sounds like I would do if I was gonna something I would do if I was gonna start up my car. I was gonna Ravenue, Ravenue. Um, it's a copy of, ah, Thanksgiving on Blu-ray Digital. Now, this was purchased used. I do not know if I got the digital with it. Ah, there is a digital. Okay. All right. We, we can do that. We can, we, we'll go with that. You ready? Digital for Thanksgiving, which, uh, let me throw out there, is a um, Thanksgiving horror movie starring Patrick Dempsey. Uh, I have seen it. It's good. Okay, I gotta tell you, it's good. I was uh, I was able to catch a, catch a glimpse of it. One of the better horror movies I've seen in a while. I would say Thanksgiving, I, I don't really believe there'll be a, well, maybe, the, uh, I don't want to give anyone, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to give anything away except for this, this, uh, this code here. That's all I'm going to do. You, you guys, you guys figure it out on your own what's going on here. Uh, here we go. Uh, bringing it up here. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And once again, I do not keep digital codes. My wife asked me the other day, she's like, well, how come you don't keep the digital code? You just give them all away and everything. And I'm like, I don't know if this is one of those things where I'm going to regret later on in life, where I'm like, ah, maybe I should have downloaded everything on, got all the digital codes and put everything on whatever streaming thing, whatever it is. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Cause I don't, I don't watch things on my phone or my tablet. Uh, I know that they're probably the smart TVs. You can probably watch on your smart TV, but I, I don't know. I just don't, I just feel it's better to give it to you guys because I got the physical copy. If you want to watch the, the digital copy, go right ahead and watch the digital copy. That's the least I could do for you for sitting here and listening to me talk. Um, so, yeah, Thanksgiving. This is an Eli Roth film, which I got to tell you, I am a huge Eli Roth fan, okay? Fan of his movies. I love Hostel 1 through all of them, okay? I loved him in Inglorious Bastards. I thought he was great. And those um, horror, um, he does this, uh, like, series for, I, I want to say he does it for... I want, is it Scream Factory? One of the companies he does this series, or it might even be Shudder... Uh, where he, he does the history of horror. He's he's great in it. Okay, I just think Eli Roth is a great writer. Everything I've ever seen from him has been grotesque in a entertaining way. And I, and I and I and I and I love him for that. I love Eli Roth for that. Um next one we have here is from Ian 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 Bailey from Aurora CO. Yep. From Aurora CO. Don't ask what that was. It was squeaky. Um, it is a okay, a Blu-ray copy of Criterion Collections Bull Durham, starring Susan Sarandon 
and Kevin Costner. Yes, I am not a sports guy. This is a baseball movie with Susan Sarandon in it. And I got to tell you, there was a moment in the Susan Suzanne Sarandon history where I was a little bit like, uh, yeah, Susan Sarandon. Which is of Eastwick. I'm, I'm trying to wink, but they ain't working too good. Um, uh, what, what was the other one? There, there was one that she did with uh, the guy that plays all the bad guys from the movies, uh, from, from every John Hughes movie. I don't remember what the heck the name of it is. But then there was then there was Bull Durham, okay? And uh, it was decent, you know? And, and, and on top of that, this is a Criterion. And I paid... I, I have Criterion in my search list on um, eBay. So every once in a while, it pops up. You know, we got like 100 new videos that somebody's selling, people are selling on eBay. And I go down the list and I'm like, oh, Bull Durham, that's, that's a decent movie. I'll pick that up on the Criterion because, of course... Criterion, you get a, you can't see on this because this guy bagged it in a weird bag. But you get a whole bunch of bonus features, and I love me some bonus features. So, Bull Durham, classic baseball movie. Um, this one comes from Jason Lloyd from Austin, Texas. That was easy. Thank you, Jason Lloyd, for living in Austin, Texas, because I did not have to butcher where you live. All right. And it is a copy of Beat Street. I was about ready to go. Beat Street Breakdown. Yeah. Who, who, um. Listen, I grew up in in that era where where break dancing started. You know, and it was breaking in Beat Street. And uh, uh, I remember Beat Street breaking Crush Groove and a movie called Rap. I think it was. And they all came out around the same time. Every everybody was everybody was listening to rap. This was when rap music first came out. And I'm not talking like Sugar Hill Gang rap. I'm talking like. Uh, Run DMC rap and uh, Beastie Boys rap and uh, Fat Boys rap and uh, um, Jam Master J and uh, well Jam Master J is part of part of Run DMC. Who, who else am I throwing out there? Uh, uh, Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick. Remember uh, Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh Crew with the Lottie the original Lottie Dottie, not the not the not the Snoop Dogg version. Um, yeah, and Beat Street came out. Now this was the not as good as Breaking. Okay, let me, let me throw, and, and not even close to Crush Groove. Uh, I would like to throw out there, where the heck is my copy of Crush Groove on Blu-ray or 4K? I would love to see that. Okay, because Crush Groove starred every single rapper that was famous in that era. It had all of Run DMC in it. It had the Beastie Boys in it. It had the Fat Boys in it. It had, uh, I think, Sheila, she, Sheila E. was in it. Uh, one, of the, one of the female uh, rapper singers or whatever. She was like, she, she just broke out and she was in it. Um, she played, I think, Run's girlfriend in the movie. Great movie. Great, great rap nostalgic movie and and disorderlies let me throw it out there too disorderlies disorderlies with the fat boys where the hell is that on blu-ray too i i do have a a uh, dvd copy that i got from like a uh a really cheap like low budget store like on a car it was, I, it was like a dollar general for some reason i found a copy of disorderlies i was i was over the over the hill excited but it's still it's a dvd i would i would love to have it get a blu-ray upgrade uh beat street it's a it's a it's a break dance movie that's that's all I gotta say. One of those love break dancing and whatever. Um, but still not as good as Crush Groove or Beat Street. Uh, Beat Street uh, or Breaking One or Two. I I'll put Breaking One or Two Electric Boogaloo up against Beat Street any day. Uh, I believe also is Beat is Beat Street the one with um, yeah. I'm not a big fan of uh this guy. What's the guy? What's the, what is the guy? Does that have the guy's name? Uh, I hate when I do this and it doesn't have the guy's name. Is it Mario Van Peoples? Mario Van Peoples. I think it is. Is this the Mario Van Peoples one? I'm not sure. Doesn't say. All right. Well, we're going to leave it at that because it doesn't even say Mario Van Peoples. But I thought it was a Mario. But I'm not a big Mario Van Peoples fan. He just irritated me in uh, New Jack City. I know he was the writer, director, whatever it was. But, I, you know, I, I could have did without him. He didn't have to be in the movie. You know, when, when, some writers and directors, when they when they, they feel like they, they need to be in their movies. Like, I had no problem with Spike Lee being in like, almost all his movies because he was cool to watch, entertaining, fun to look at. You know, Spike Lee's just very charismatic. He's a fun to look at kind of guy. He's Spike Lee. Um, and I always think of, when I look at Spike Lee, I always think of him as the little basketball guy from the basketball commercials or whatever. He's a fun guy, okay? Uh, Spike Lee. Uh, but Mario Van Peebles is not so much fun. Not not so much fun to look at. I don't know. Sorry, Mario Van Peebles. I mean, I guess we ain't dating anytime soon. Um, this thing empty? Yeah, it's empty. Wow, this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this on this. This is kind of a crazy terrible ending um the 4k ultra hd blu-ray and digital code not no digital code because i got this used 
Oh, Digital Code. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll give it a shot, even though this is on Disney+. Plus. Uh, yeah, the price of all the Disney movies has dropped significantly because of Disney+. Plus. So I guess Disney is just like, you know, whatever. Uh, so I have watched this with the preschoolers, and there's a few movies that I have watched with the preschoolers that I'm kind of like, I want them in my collection. I want I want to have them physically in my collection because they are decent movies. Most of them are made by Pixar. This is a Pixar one itself, and it is the movie Turning Red. So if you have children, first let's make this very clear. Um, I guess nowadays, I remember when I was a kid, the only TV, the only movies that we could watch as a kid at school were G-rated movies. You had to watch a G-rated movie. Everything had to be G-rated. But nothing is G-rated anymore, including Disney movies. There's not one G-rated Disney movie out there anymore. I mean, except if you go with the old school stuff. And I bet you any money, if the rating board was to re-raid, let's say, a Bambi or a Dumbo or whatever, they, they would pick something apart of it. They'd be like, oh, those, uh, Dumbo is a bad movie because it has them, them uh, 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 crows in it and and, and uh bambi his mom gets shot and that that's gonna give itself a pg rating i bet you the rating board would go crazy and they change everything all over the place so yeah um so now they're just giving a pg and and i guess parents are just like whatever uh what is this thing pj for because i watched it the other day with the kids for thematic material suggestive content and language language really in a in a disney pixar cartoon language i don't i don't recall any any harsh language when I watched it with the children on Disney Plus at the school. And and I've watched this many a time with them. I'll have to, I'll have to check my daughter. She's a big, big fan of this movie. I, I do not remember any harsh language. Um, there is a digital code. I will be giving it to you in case you want to watch Turning Red with your um, your uh, your family. Uh, here it is. Hopefully it works. Uh, if you could please do me a favor and just... Put a, uh, I already got it, or uh, thank you, or something in the comments below that helps with the algorithm and it also shows the other people that you did get the digital copy. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I will tell you that um, the only thing I know about this movie, and I, I didn't really get it from the movie. Well, the thing is, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm at work... I'm actually working, okay? I'm not watching TV. I, I'm more, Usually when the kids are watching TV, I'm watching the kids. That's that's my job, so that's what I do. So I hardly ever get... I might every once in a while catch a glimpse and be like, oh, that looks decent, or I, I, I'm listening while I'm cleaning the tables or while I'm you know, cleaning up after them, spilling stuff all over the floor, and, I'm, and, and I overhear stuff. And I looked up, and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. Same thing happened with Coco. There was a, a, a di another Disney movie called Coco. I kind of looked up, and I was like, oh, that seems interesting. And there's, there's, a, there's a few of them that I, I went out and I actually purchased because I was like, that seems like something that I need to watch by myself when I can go home when I'm not working. Because, like I said, if, you, if you, you're taking care of, like, nine kids, ten kids, whatever the, whatever the amount of kids you're watching, your job is to take care of the kids, not to watch a Disney movie. So the kids be watching a Disney movie, and I be watching the kids. So, uh... But at the other school I worked at, we could not watch this movie. They would not let us watch this movie because Turning Red, I guess, is a movie about uh, this little girl, one of these little girls getting her period. That's what this whole movie is about, about a little girl getting her period. She reached the, the age where she she became a woman and she gets her period. And I guess every time she gets her period, uh, this red monster shows up. I mean, that, that's what I that's what I think. That's I mean, that's I mean, you could Google it. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure, but. I think that's what I was told, and that's why they wouldn't let me watch it at the other school or put it on at the other school. They were like, no, we don't we don't want to put anything on like that because we don't want the kids to understand that later on in life they might act, actually raise too many questions and too many things going on where if this is a, a, a Disney-type movie or a Disney-Pixar movie that explains a little girl maturing into womanhood, I mean, that's kind of a profound way of introducing it to a child because a lot of the kids that I work with uh, some of them don't even have parents that would ever have that kind of conversation with them I will tell you right now that when I started to mature into to, into manhood there was there was no sit down with my father and let's let's talk about the birds and the bees you know you didn't talk to me about that I learned all my stuff from the magazines I found uh, downstairs in the basement and uh, uh, my friends and uh, it's probably better to learn it from a Disney movie I guess you know, even though I'm not a big Disney fan it's probably better for them to raise questions so they, they actually go out and have to ask their parents uh, what is that all about now I'm starting to realize this and maybe I should ask about why uh, why this little girl is having problems and turning red and uh, you know you know one of those, I don't know 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you comment below. You comment below, and and then, and then we'll start a little, we'll start a little, start a little talk about it. If you've seen the movie Turning Red, tell me if I'm right or wrong. I mean, I will check with my daughter. I'm sure she knows all about it. I know she's watched it multiple times. She's, I think she's watched it on, on Disney Plus. I do not stream, so I do not watch it here. Uh, I am kind of forced to put on whatever I need to put on at the preschool to keep them busy while I'm cleaning things. So if they ask to watch something, if it's on Disney, then I am free to let them watch it. So so I let them watch it. There isn't anything on Disney that they are not allowed to watch, I don't think. I'm trying to rack my mind. I, do, I don't let them watch like Home Alone and stuff like that because I do know that there are swears in that movie. Um, not that the movie's bad. I absolutely love Home Alone, but... Um, you don't show preschoolers movies with bad language. And I don't recall any bad language being in that movie. As, as I was cleaning about, I, I do not remember any any bad words in any, of the, in any of the cartoons. Anyway, with that said, my friends, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. If you could do me a favor, please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the, hit the, the bell that helps out. Every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, I will be here unboxing, opening things, telling you stories of my life. That's what I do here. Uh, toys... Uh, CDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, DVDs, VHS, and whatever is going on personally in my life is what this channel is about. So if you could do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. That helps me with my algorithm, and I will see you later. You should have saved me some. Goodbye.